in New an increasing model in New being used in New Zealand for reversing diabetes um, through the reversal and pre cure with the K groups, and that involved involves health providers that help coach and re educate, providing emotional and practical support. And on in government policy, they talk about cancer and they suggest that the allied health scientific and technical professionals, the AHPs, are, are mentioned as supporting people on the cancer process. But I can't see any dedicated effort that would follow the same lines as the diabetes model. It's really surprising that we seem to, to want to have a policy with cancer, but there is nothing there to provide a foundation or the infrastructure for people to actually shift the way they live and and truly, you know, um, declare war on exactly. cancer by That's taking exactly radio munitions. Right. That's it. They don't contemplate victory. And this is why many of our recent wars have, have been so ineffectual. They've simply wanted to spend money on the military industrial complex without actually getting a victory and this is essentially what we've done with the war on cancer. We want to spend money and much of it goes to pharmaceutical shareholders, which we're glad that the research happens. But the more the individual is able to take on board the responsibility for their individual body, their individual food choices, and to realize that that's important and they're not going to abdicate that to the government to look after them. The more we abdicate to the government to look after us when we're unwell, the more increasingly chronically unwell we will be. And the, the interruption, the disruptor is to take a few matters into your own hands legally and lawfully and engage with your kitchen, have fun, keep your joy and you know, know that there's always hope. Dr. Anna Goodwin, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Jody.